Hello everyone, today I was planning on making the next episode in the Black Widow mod series As you can see I have the new part for the, the basically the replacement for the BL Touch But unfortunately I can't get it to work properly yet and I don't want to make another basically a really boring video so I'm going to delay that until I figure it out but at the same time I don't really have anything else planned for this week so I thought some of you might be interested in seeing my workshop area so I decided to make a video about that so yeah here it is here is my tool shelf and yeah I usually have a few more things here it's a bit messy right now sorry but yeah this is most of it and yeah I have quite a bit of stuff here like my multimeter etc thermocouple tool here are my screwdrivers in this 3d printed shelf I didn't make a video about the shelf because this is really a specific design for my particular screwdrivers but I don't know if you're really interested in that let me know and I'll at least share the files on Thingiverse and yeah I also have these parts drawers that I 3d printed you can check the video out I'll put it as a card on the screen right now here is my soldering station, I did a review video about this, you might remember. And I have a DIY fume extractor here, basically yeah, two PC fans and an active carbon filter in the back. Mostly covered with duct tape to make it work better. And I don't really have any ducting here, that's why that's the solution that I decided to go with. And yeah, what else? Well, I have this control panel for the lights. Uh, the language is different obviously you might have figured that out this is not this is my native language and yeah for example I turned on and off the light and I have this light for example that I can turn off from here as well and yeah, these are basically the two lights that I use on my shots this uh, this light on the top is the way I light up the bench and this is the stuff that I use to highlight the object that I'm filming or whatever I'm working on, it's also a work light obviously. I also experimented with using an RGB light bulb and you know for the video stuff I don't really, I don't think I've used that so far for anything but yeah I'm doing my best trying to improve my video quality and speaking of which this is the reason that I bought this tripod so until now I was using a pretty terrible shitty mini tripod this thing and yeah this served me well enough but yeah I thought it was time for upgrade and yeah honestly this doesn't cost too much anyway so I decided to do it and this the reason that I chose this particular tripod is as you can see it can be a table tripod or I can extend these legs and use it as a proper tripod from the floor as well and unfortunately I can't do that too often because well yeah I don't really have enough space the legs of the tripod are wider than this area so whenever I use the tripod I have to lean it in front of this wall basically and that's the only way it fits and yeah I think this area is like 50 55 centimeters something like that I don't have much space here but anyway it's still a pretty good workshop in my opinion and yeah here is the computer that I you see quite often in my videos basically for editing the firmware etc and this is the microphone that I record on it usually isn't here I usually record it inside where my uh, gaming computer is but yeah whenever I decided to record something I usually use this microphone obviously not for this video I'm just using the one on the phone right now but in most of my videos that's what I use and here is the Black Widow itself it's still a work in progress obviously and yeah for example the spool holders aren't in there because I removed them and yeah here is the control box I also have this light there and yeah I, I have quite a bit of tools as well but I don't think yeah I think it would take too lo long to cover everything I don't want to make this video really long so that's all I'm going to talk about in this video so sorry for not making a more proper video but I thought some of you might be interested in 
seeing my setup here so I don't plan on making any other behind the scenes video like this because I don't think you really would be interested in seeing more of this stuff but if I'm wrong let me know in the comments below otherwise I'll try to make I'll try my best to make sure the next week's Friday's video is the next Black Widow mods video I'm not promising it because I still didn't solve whatever the problem is but yeah I'm going to go into that more detail on the Black Widow mods video but other than that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching